my future bright. Look at that. Believe it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Hope everyone is having an amazing day. Just real quick disclaimer. Um, I'm trying a new setup um, here. I put an external mic on my GoPro. So I'm testing out the audio. Hopefully it turns out great. Because if it does, this is going to be my uh, vlogging setup versus carrying around my big old DSLR. Um, but anyway, I had to run a couple errands that I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. Um, you guys hear that? Guy pulls up behind me. Music. Blasting. Super loud. I did that once. It's like 15. I did have my license at 15, by the way. Back then, all you needed uh, was to have your permit for 15 months or for six months. And then um, after that, you took your driving test, you passed your driving test, then uh, you got your license. Which I got 100 on my driving test because I'm nice. I just playing. It wasn't hard. But anyway, like I said, I'm running a couple errands and I'll bring you guys along with me. Um, I wanted to talk about the 2019 Ford Mustang GT500. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about the 2019 uh, Ford Mustang GT500. I've been doing a lot of research on it. Well, I don't want to say a lot of research on it. There's not a lot out there. Everything is mostly speculative. Um, they just released some spy shots of the front, which I think looks sick, in my opinion. Um, I think it looks really good. But I've hinted out or thrown out on the channel here before. For those of you that don't know, uh, those of you that are new to the channel, I have a 2016 uh, Mustang GT. And I've thought about selling it um, slash trading it in. Uh, there's a dealership out of Ohio called Lebanon Ford where you can get a 2018 for 41000 um, with warranty, full bumper to bumper warranty. You get a 2018 Mustang GT Whipple Supercharged with 800 horsepower, which is insane. Um, now I have the, mine is the 400A package. So um, it's almost fully loaded. There's maybe like a couple things that it doesn't have, adaptive cruise control and I don't know, I'm sure there's something else, but this uh, Mustang, the 800 horsepower Mustang is a base model. So under the hood, huge upgrade, interior, huge downgrade, which honestly doesn't bother me that much because I think it would be cool to do a, a build series of the inside of the car. Uh, there's a lot of aftermarket seats and stuff like that you can get. They have the Tesla unit for the Mustangs, which I don't know that I would go that route. I would probably do an iPad. Uh, setup. I've seen it on the Mustangs and on other cars, and it's 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 nice. It's a nice setup to have. But with the GT500 coming out, I don't know if I should hold off. Now, this is a thing. When the GT350s came out, you guys know the markup on the GT350s were ridiculous. They were done right, disrespectful. Those markups, and it's not going to be any different with the GT500s. So the only way that I would get a GT500 and this is where I need you guys' help. I need y'all to come in and come in clutch. It's free to subscribe. If I can get this channel to at least 50,000 subscribers, by the end of this year, I will get that GT500. Um, they're doing a limited run in 2019 of the GT500s. I think it'll be super cool to get um, one of those limited run uh, GT500s. I live literally like 15 minutes from Sebring International Raceway, uh, which is a huge internationally internationally known uh, track here in Florida. And I could easily take the Mustang, the GT500 out there and, and race it. And I would just create some crazy good content. It'll be fun, informative. Uh, but I, I could only do that if this channel reaches at least 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year just because it's going to be expensive and your boy ain't rich. And like I said, those that markup is going to be insane. One second, I got to order me a, uh, a Red Bull. Can I help you out? Yes, can I get a 12-ounce Red Bull, please? Okay. Thank you. 
is that editing power right there, that Red Bull. My wife hates when I drink these, but I mean, with good reason, they're not healthy for you, but. Sorry, baby, baby, I apologize. Baby, I apologize. But anyway, like I said, guys, that GT500 is gonna have a crazy, crazy markup. But if I can get this channel to 50,000 subscribers at bare minimum by the end of this year, I will get a GT500. You know, if the, if the channel can support the car, and I can create some really good content for you guys and have one of the first GT500s out there, I think it would be worth it. Um, otherwise, I, I don't see it feasible. But I really think this channel can reach uh, five, uh, 50,000 subscribers within the year or by the end of this year, if not more. There's channels out there that grow exponentially in a very, very short amount of time. Um, so with that said, y'all subscribe. Like I said, it's free to subscribe. Hit that like button. Yeah, man, like I said, I, I've been reading up and I think my prediction is this car is gonna have anywhere between 750 to 760 horsepower. The reason why I think that is whenever the 2018 Mustang GT um, was teased, the digital gauge cluster, um, the left side said four, which was the gear it was in and the right side said 55 which was the miles per hour the car ended up having 460 horsepower which you know I, when people saw that i said oh that's going to be the horsepower 455 horsepower fellow mustang owner uh it's cool to see other mustang owners in the, or just car guys period on the road man like there's car guys out there that if, if they drive a Camaro, it, Camaros or nothing else, Corvettes or nothing else. That's not me, I like all cars, man. Whatever you drive, if that's the car you love, drive that car, you know? Um, I appreciate all cars, all builds. Just side note, got sidetracked there. But um, yeah, the digital gauge, gauge cluster is at fourth gear, 55 miles an hour. Um, kind of an Easter egg that was gonna have 455 horsepower. Um, then another uh, picture of the of the gauge cluster came out in seventh gear at 50 and 55 miles an hour. So it said that Easter egg for the GT500 that is going to have 755 horsepower. Now Ford has said for the majority of the time that it is going to have over 700 horsepower. So being that that Easter egg on the digital gauge cluster was 755, I believe it. I think it's gonna have anywhere between 750 and 760, um, which is a lot. Um, now, Jim Owens, which is the marketing manager for Ford Performance, said Venom kills demons. So, pretty bold statement for him to say something like that out in public. Um, it wasn't something that he was trying to hide. So, it's definitely gonna be faster than the Dodge Demon. Personally, I hope it's more track focused versus uh, a drag strip car. It's definitely going to be capable at both, for sure. I, I have no doubt that the GT500 is going to be a 10 second car right off, right out of the lot. Um, now, my I want to see what it's going to do on the track, the Nurburgring, where cars are tested. But I would really like to get it. We will see what happens. Um, like I said, that markup's gonna be insane. We'll see what it is. But uh, hopefully I can grab one, guys. Like I said, you guys subscribe, hit that like button. Um, share, share the video. And uh, share the video, support the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget, be great. You guys have a great week.